Digital damage is a great way to create some very realistic looking digital block distortion in your picture. So uh, grab this, drop it on there. You'll notice it's not a real time effect, but you can scrub over it and get a very clear idea of what it looks like. Um, when you go into your effect editor, you'll notice there's, you can basically customize every single one of these different um, kinds of distortion in here that um, you see. And I'll just turn all of them off by unchecking these boxes. And now we can start from scratch and sort of build, get the kind of distortion that we want. Um, freeze, freeze is part of the picture. And um, whenever you open up your freeze details, you can go in and you can actually change how much freezing is happening, what's the threshold, um, the saturation and the look of that kind of freeze. Um, really, the, the possibilities are endless here. Um, but you know, when you're working, you might not have time to do all of this. So um, what are some ways that you can take advantage of digital damage to um, spice up your work and not take too much time? So um, one, of the, one of the ways that I do this is um, I use it to uh, create sort of like a tr either transitional elements or stylized elements. Um, and one way I do it is by like, instead of getting in and getting all busy with keyframing, I will just make add edits in my clips. So um, we'll go through here and uh, we'll say we want this clip to you know start out normal and then start to blip into distortion as the car gets closer so um, I'll add an edit here another one there and then and I'll go here and then like let's go forward like two frames and then forward maybe one frame and then two frames okay and then maybe I'll turn it off here completely and then on this one leave it like that and then for going to my effect editor and this clip we'll turn the intensity down to like 0.2 and then it hits this blip this two this short blip here and the, and the intensity and the damage size is like way up but then when it gets to this little bit here the intensity is down a bit Time intensity, we'll take that down a bit. Damage size, that goes down. Different look there. And then it hits this one frame, like super bad blip. So, you know, maybe damage size is up. Intensity is like five. Time intensity is way up. So it looks super bad. This one's a little bit more normal. So we'll take it down to like 0.3. Another super bad blip like six and change up our seed here. That's cool. Image size. All right. This one is, you know, maybe change that time intensity down there. And then we're on to the next clip. And then it really comes to life whenever you render it. So let's just do a quick render, see what it looks like. And we're going along and you can see what it looks like. It looks very natural, like, you know, it's interference from satellite or something like that. The next thing I like to do with digital damage that I think you could have a lot of fun with is actually using it on title media. So if you create some title media in Media Composer and just cut it over your image, and let's put it up here on V2. Drop digital damage on top of the title media. And this you can do this with any of the sapphire filters, but I like this one because it like breaks up the breaks up the titles, and you can do some fun stuff with you know the way the titles come into the picture and how they you know go out of the picture. Um, so drop right on top of your clip there. Now out the gate, you're going to notice that uh, obviously this doesn't look right. So uh, go into your effect editor and make sure that you have apply to title key turned on. Now we can see that digital damage is affecting only the title um, itself because it's taking into account that there's an alpha channel. All right, so um, there's a bunch of other noise in here. So what you might want to do is turn off freeze, keep shift on, because shift is what's gonna sort of break the title. Um, shift on, uh, 
pixelate, turn that off, these details, let's turn off that block noise. Um, invert, that's kind of cool. I mean, you can keep it on, I guess. Yeah, we'll keep invert on. Okay, and then go into shift details and just really play with how much is it breaking up the picture. Keep your threshold low. Shift always. Now it's got this other noise in here. Maybe you want to turn that off or um, the invert, turn that off. Just so that it's only breaking up the picture, the uh, title itself. You can do some really cool effects with it.